One of the great things about WordPress and running your website off of WordPress, especially if you're generating blog content, a podcast, anything that you're continually adding to is that WordPress has its own built-in RSS feeds. And RSS, really all it means is really simple syndication. It allows for you to publish one address, one URL, where if somebody types that in, they'll get access to everything. So you can do a search on RSS feeds to get a greater understanding. What you're probably here for is, how do I publish different RSS feeds for different categories on my website? How do I take a category that's meant for you know just recipes and allow people to subscribe to that RSS feed versus a you know, a category that's just, you know, healthy living or something like that. So they only get that. They don't get the stuff that they don't want. WordPress actually has this built in, but it takes a little bit of understanding. It's not hard. It just is, uh, it's just something that you need to be intentional about. So this page right here, this is codex.wordpress.org slash WordPress underscore feeds. And I'll put that in the notes. Um, in the description. But this page gives you all of the different feeds that WordPress actually builds in. Now, if you started right here, you'd probably get to the point where you're like, I don't know, PHP. But if you keep scrolling down, you'll find your generic RSS feed. Um, if you're using custom permalinks, they're right here. And then if you keep scrolling down, you'll find that there are actually RSS feeds for a lot more than simply your main overall feed. You can get a comment feed. So you can allow people to subscribe to comments or you yourself can subscribe to comments. You've got categories and tags, um, authors and search. There's all sorts of different ways that you can use these. And what I'm gonna show you now is how to actually use the categories and tags feature um, and how to fill in this information. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up a new browser and I'm gonna navigate to my website. And once in the back end, I want to locate this category ID number. Okay, this is gonna allow me to create a feed just for this category. So right here, I'm gonna to go to categories or posts, categories. And you'll see that it doesn't offer that information straight up. So there's a little teeny tiny trick. Right here, you click on the category that you want. So let's say I want entrepreneur, bring it up and you still don't see that category number, but really it's hidden right up here as the category and tag ID. So 75 represents the numerical ID for the entrepreneur category. Let's go ahead, let's copy this feed right here, this URL, we're gonna copy it, we're gonna create a new tab, we're gonna paste our URL, I'm gonna put in my domain, daveshrine.com, I'm gonna put in my category, what was it? It was 75, I'm gonna put in my category of 75. I'm gonna hit return. Now what you're gonna see is it actually brings up the entrepreneur channel, the entrepreneur category. Now I've got a couple things installed that automatically generate um, iTunes information, but if you scroll down, you'll see that here is a title for a post called Charging What You Are Worth and Being Willing to Say No and then it has the excerpt from the post and some information down here, when you don't have any clients yet. Um, down here, why no one talks about email marketing anymore. So what can be done with this? Well, a lot of different things. You can copy and you could go into Feedly and once you've logged in, you can click for a new feed that you wanna follow and right here, the entrepreneur feed, follow and you can put it in favorites, and now in favorites, you're gonna see all of the posts that were uh, ta tagged or are in the category of entrepreneur. You could provide that feed to individuals so that they can subscribe to it and you know have a link at the very bottom of your website that says subscribe to this category of entrepreneur. Whatever the case might be, you can do it that way. The other really cool thing is that MailChimp has the ability, and other emails do this as well, but MailChimp has the ability for you to create an RSS feed for any feed that you want. And so what this means is every time you click publish, anybody that is subscribed via MailChimp to that particular list that's generating uh, an email based upon that RSS, they'll automatically get a link. So it'll be created organically. And I'll put a, a link to this page 
in the description as well. But basically, without having to do anything, when you click submit, MailChimp sees the update in the feed and sends an email out to the people who want that particular category. Now, there's one last thing here. That was the you know more complicated way to find the actual category uh, description. Depending on how your hyperlinks are set up, your permalinks are set up, you're probably going to be able to just type in category, the name, and then the feed, and it'll produce your category. The, the good thing about the method that I just showed you is then that, that works across the board. But if you have your hyperlinks set up, if you have your permalinks set up um, a particular way, and, and I'm not exactly sure which ways this works with, uh, you can actually fill in the blanks here and that would be a feed that would work as well. So there you go. That is how you can create, or, or not even create, but access the custom feeds that WordPress already has built in for you based upon the categories or the tags that you're using on your website. I'd be happy to answer any questions in the comment section below. Hope this was helpful.